Lymphoma is really a complex set of diseases and the standards of care, the definitions of the lymphoma subtypes, and really the array of drugs that are available and becoming available to treat lymphoma are very complex. And so I think it's very important for physicians and practice and patients to really know the latest information because it's rapidly changing and I think people need to keep current uh, on where things stand if they want to have the optimal benefit for patients. Within lymphoma biology, there are a number of new developments. Really, we're at an unprecedented time point where we have uh, better understanding of the molecular subclasses of lymphoma that better help us to identify prognosis and therapy, as well as identify new targets of treatment uh, so that we can, instead of using nonspecific chemotherapy, we can use more specific treatments aimed at the molecular abnormalities present in the lymphoma. What we're doing is really uh, n a number of new things. Number one, we are better able and working on, on methods to identify patient subgroups that could be treated in one fashion or another. That could result in more effective treatments and in less toxicity for patients who perhaps could get by with less therapy based on their molecular subtype of lymphoma. This has also allowed us to uh, implement new therapies and what they're doing is really allowing us to uh, have uh, options for patients where standard treatments don't work. We can substitute less toxic therapies for our older, more toxic therapies and combine newer approaches with our standard treatment approaches in order to improve outcome. I think the future really uh, holds for patients that we can more precisely define their treatment based on the particular subtype of lymphoma that they have that will have more effective treatments, will cure more patients, will improve survival, uh, and will have less toxic therapies for many different situations.